Hello guys, in this video we are going to build our master page but before then let me open the final project for us to take a look at the things contained in our master page. So I have opened here the final project and um, when we look at the top we have this test here, we have our logo here, we have our navigation items here, and when we scroll to the bottom we have our footer here, we have our links here as well as we have our copyright test. Now let's go back to our application and see how best we can go about this. To get started we come to our toolbox search for the layer tool, we click on it, draw on the canvas, now double click on it and let's get rid of the width, um, the border we have here. So I'm going to change the width of the border to 0 pixels, I'm going to change the border style to 0 pixels, um, none as well, and I'm going to change the size of this particular um, layer I have here. So this is going to be 970 pixels by 98. I'll go ahead, double click on this and I'm going to change the style that is the background property from solid to image and i'm going to go ahead to select the image i'll be using so i'll browse and select look through the images so this is the image i'll be using i'll go ahead and set the size to cover i'm going to change repeat to do not repeat this is going to be center this is going to be top and let's go ahead and see how it is going to look so that's not how we want it to look let's come back and set the property so we are going to change this to um, let's make this center and um, let's come back here and change this to okay let's just maintain this as center and preview this in our browser and see how it is going to display so we need a round edge here we need a round edge here as well we are going to come back to our project double click in the layer again now come to styles under border click on the drop down arrow by style select custom and come to settings now uncheck this, uncheck this, uncheck this. In our case, we are going to set a, um, a rounded edge or that is the radius for the right hand side, the top right and the left um, top as well. So the top is going to be about 30 pixels and we are going to set it for the um, left side. That is also going to be 30 pixels. Okay, that's not what we want. Let's change this back to zero and we are going to set the right to 30 pixels now go ahead and click on ok and i'll click on ok again so we have that done here now let's preview this and as you can see we have our rounded edge now, i'm going to position this in the center of my page so to do that i'll right click on an empty space go to page properties and i'm going to select under page alignment i'm going to select center horizontally i'll go ahead and click on ok and i'll have to do that um, for the layer as well i'm going to change the alignment to center I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and change the position of the layer I have in here. So the position is going to be 0 by 30 pixels. So I'll go ahead and set that here. Now the next thing for me to do is to bring in the logo. But before then, the logo is also being contained in a different layer. Now let me show you what I mean here. If you take a look at this, this is the layer we just designed. and. Um, our logo is being contained in this particular section. It's not going to fit in this layer we have here. So what we are going to do is to bring in a new layer. So come back to our project. All we need to do is to make a copy of this. So we are going to copy this and um, paste it. So we're going to paste this and we are going to change the property of it. So we are first of all going to change the size to 970 by 110. So this is going to be 970 by 110. I hit on enter. I'm going to change the background property to transparent. So I'm changing this to transparent and the style is going to be none here. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm going to move this a little bit above this um, particular layer. It has to, the bottom has to be of the same um, alignment with the existing layer we have in here. And um, the top is going to surpass the existing layer we have in here so now i'm going to go ahead to bring in my logo so let me just search for my logo i'll be using so i have my logo this is my logo now i'm going to move this logo into the new layer i have brought so i guess you're taking a good look now i move it and you realize the edge of this layer is thick we have a thick blue edge here that shows it is in this particular layer now let's go ahead and preview this in our browser so as you can see, we have that here, but there are some things we would have to do. So now let's come back to our project and see what we can do at this particular section. So we double click on this particular um, 
logo we have in here. So I'm going to go ahead and check enable laser loading. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Let me just move this out of this. Uh, I think this is not the logo we'll be using. Let me just go ahead and get rid of this. I'm going to copy the logo from the final project. I'll paste that here and I'll move this to this particular section, making sure it's positioned well here. Okay, so we have it in the center of our layer here. Now let's double click on it and we have already have enable lazy loading checked. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now we are supposed to bring in our test in here. So I'm going to copy the test we'll be using. So I'll copy this test from my final project. I'm going to paste that here and I'm going to apply the appropriate settings or appropriate styles to the test I have in here. So I'm going to first of all change the size of it. I'm going to change this to 562 by 61 pixels. I'm going to set the alignment to the right hand side and I'm going to move this to this particular position. I'm going to highlight on this test I have in here and I'm going to set the style to sans gray 18. Now I'm going to move this. Let me just get appropriate uh, position for it. So the position is going to be 394 by 55 pixels. And I'm going to double click on this and select this test I have in here. And I'm going to apply 11 gray, sans 11 gray to it. So I'll go ahead and uh, do that. Now let's go ahead and preview this in our browser and see how it looks. So as you can see, we are on course. Now let's come back to our project. And instead of using gray for this particular section, let's change the color here to black. So let's come to our toolbox, come to our style manager to sans gray, that is 18 gray. We change this one to black. Now let's go ahead and change the name as well to black so that we don't get confused in our project. So I'm going to change this. Go ahead, click on OK, and I have to reapply it. So I'll highlight on this test here. I'm going to click on the drop down around down my styles, and I'm going to set this to sans 18 black. So we are done with this section. Now let's continue to build our site navigation. So to do that, I'm going to just get a layer from here. So I'll drag and drop a uh, a layer from the two box and the size of this layer is going to be 970 by 35 pixels. So I'm going to, before setting the size, I'm going to go to styles and I'm going to change the border to zero and um, the style is going to be none. I'll go ahead and click on OK and I'm going to change this. That's the size of it to 970 by 35 pixels and I'm going to move it to hit the bottom edge of this particular layer I have in here. I'm going to get a color I'll be using for this particular layer. So I'm getting that from my final project. I've copied the color code. I'll come back to this layer. I double click on it, come to styles. Under background, I make sure I leave it on solid. And under color, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow. I'm going to go to more styles and I'm going to paste my code in here. So you can copy this code and use it for your color for this particular layer here. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and click on OK. Now let me move it a little bit, making sure it is rightfully positioned here. Now I'm going to go ahead to build my site navigation. This time around, I'm going to use a CSS navigation. So I come to my toolbox and I'm going to search for CSS. So this is my CSS menu. I click on it and draw here on an empty space. And I'm going to go ahead to create my menu, my menus here. So these are my menu items. The first one is going to be home. I'm going to change the next one to our services. The next one is going to be about our company. The next one is going to be FAQ. The next one is going to be feedback. And the last one is going to be gallery. I'll go ahead and click on Okay, now let me go ahead and expand this a little bit. Let me get the properties I use for it in my final project. So I'm getting that for my final project. I'm going to go to styles and I'm going to change the alignment of my font. Okay, I'm going to leave this on left and I'm going to change the button size from fixed to variable. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the background color. So the background color is going to be um, let me just get that for my final project. The color is going to be black. That's the black we used from the recent colors. And the hover is going to be a blue here. So let me just select this particular blue. I'm going to go ahead to the test section. And the text is going to be white. 
that is um the default test is going to be white and when i hover over it as well it's also going to be white now i'm going to set a pattern of 15 pixels from the left and 15 pixels from the right i'll go ahead and click on um, before i click on okay let me change the style that is for the test to from regular to bold and i'll go ahead and click on okay before i click on okay let me come back to general and i'm going to use that is use hover style to indicate the current page i'm going to check this one let me come back here make sure everything is done correctly and uh, i think i want to take away some space and let me just see if i can identify that from here okay so i'm going to get rid of this space and i have in here i'm going to change this from four to one and i'll go ahead and click on okay now let me change the size of my navigation links here from this one to 666 by 33 pixels i'm going to change the height of this to 33 pixels so let me just make this 33 i'll go ahead and click on ok now i'm going to move this to this particular layer i have in here now expand this a little bit let me go ahead and preview this in my browser so as, as you can see we have this done here but you can see that we have some sort of border applied to our um, navigation links here we, let's go ahead and take a look at how we we'll get rid of that so double click back in your navigation links come to styles and under border make sure you take this away making sure you select none here and change the width to zero i'll go ahead and click on ok now i'm going to change the color of my entire page so i'm going to right click on my final project and get a color i'll be using for that so i have my color code copied i'll right click on an empty space here go to page properties come to styles and i'm going to change the white to my new color now i'm going to go ahead to click on ok and click on ok now we did this in order to cater for the round edge we had over here um, after bringing in our logo and let me show you what i mean as you can see we have this round edge over here and we don't want to do so much work to get rid of it so in order to avoid doing so much work all we need to we needed to do was to change the um, color of the page to the same color we have in here now let's go ahead and preview this and take a look at the new um, properties we have over here so as you can see our page is beginning to get um, into form now let's go ahead and um, build our footer so we come back to our project come back to the toolbox this time around we are going to look for a layer click on the layer draw on an empty space on the canvas now let me get an appropriate size for my layer in here so the size is going to be 970 by 75 pixels so i'm first of all going to take away the border i have that is by default if i bring in new layers into my project and i'm going to change the size to 970 by 75 pixels now double click on this layer come to styles and under background i'm going to change this to image and i'm going to select the appropriate image for this as well so the first one was um i think so this uh the first one was stop and the next one is going to be footer so let's just select this one go ahead and open it set this to center set the size to cover change the repeat from repeat in both direction to do not repeat and set the horizontal to center so i'll go ahead and click on ok just make sure that it's done okay i'll go ahead and click on ok let me preview this in my browser as you can see we need a round edge over here so let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that so I'll double click on this come to styles and um, the same way we did for the first one come to custom that is under the border you come to custom and this time around we go to settings uncheck these properties and this time around we are going to do 30 pixels for left and 30 pixels for the bottom I'll go ahead and click on ok click on ok now let's preview this in our browser so as you can see we have our round edge here we have our round edge here as well now let's come back to our master page and come to the toolbox and um, look for the content placeholder so we have our content placeholder here we are going to put that in here i'm going to position that here let me just expand it to fit the space i have in here to continue we are supposed to bring in our copyright test i'm going to copy that for the from the final project and i'm going to paste that in here so let me just move this to this particular position making sure it is in the center of my footer in here and make sure i apply the appropriate style to it so i'm going to highlight everything here 
I'll come to my styles and I'm going to scroll to that is sans 10 gray. That is what I'm going to apply to it. And I'm going to go ahead and um, get this particular footer. Um, that is this particular navigation link. So I'm going to make a copy of it using Control C or right click on it. Select copy, right click on it, um, paste, move this particular um, navigation links here. I'm going to change the properties to fit the properties of the footer. So I'm going to double click on this. I'll come to styles and um, let me just get a height appropriate height for it. So the height is going to be 20 pixels. I'm going to change this to 20 pixels. I'm going to go to background and the background is going to be transparent. I'm going to come to styles and the styles of the test is going to be when I hover over it, I need a gray color. So I'm going to select this and when um, that by default, uh, I need a gray color and when I hover over it, I need a black color. I'm going to change the pattern from 15 to 10 pixels. That is for the, for the left. And I'm going to change it to 10 pixels for the right as well. I'll go ahead and um, change the font size from 10 pixels to 8 pixels. And I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now let me resize this here and make sure I reposition it. Let me get appropriate position for it. So the position is going to be 10 by 441 pixels. Let me just do that here. And uh, to do that, I need to get appropriate height for my content placeholder. So I'm going to get a height for my content placeholder. That is going to be 970 by 252 pixels. Let me just move this and uh, reapply the position for it, which is 10 by 441 pixels. So let me just do that here. So as you can see, we have that done correctly. So let's go ahead and preview this again in our browser. And as you can see, um, we are almost done with our master page. Now, in our next videos, we are going to take a look at how to work on the various pages of our project.